Hello, I'm Nicola McCarthy. It's Friday the 29th of November. Welcome to City Today. Well, we'll start with a team update ahead of Swansea on Sunday. And the good news is that Vincent Company did train with the team at Carrington today. However, in his pre-match press conference, Manuel Pellegrini did hint that the skipper won't be ready for Sunday's game. Also training with the first team squad were EDS stars Jason Denayer, Greg Lee, Jose Angel Pozo and Emmer Hughes. And not long after receiving his first senior international call-up for Wales, Hughes was also included in Manuel Pellegrini's squad, which faced Pilsen on Wednesday. And City TV caught up with the young Welshman, who says he was shocked when he got the nod. Um, I didn't even expect to be on the bench, so I was a bonus anyway. But um, I'd have liked to get on, obviously, but I'll take it step by step. Yeah, it's good to train with the first team because it's uh, higher intensity and it just challenges you more with better players around you, so it's good, yeah. Well, on Monday, we launched our Design a Flag competition, inviting fans to submit their ideas for a flag that will be unveiled during next weekend's Premier League home clash against Arsenal. And we're delighted to announce that the winner is Danny Nish, as decided by Joe Hart. No. I think this on this would be mine. <laughs> you can't, you can't do a hybrid. <laughs> You're mixing it up. You're mixing. mixing. That one then, because I like how it's. it's uh, what yeah. Says. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Danny, and we look forward to seeing you on the pitch before the game next Saturday. Well, all week we've been quizzing Brian Marwood about all aspects of the academy. And to finish off our in-depth interview, today Brian talks about the footballing philosophy which is ingrained in the youngsters from a very young age. I think if you, you, know, and you watch you know, a lot of football through the, through the club like me and, and you, you'll see a style and a, and a view that the way that we play and um, primarily um, from under 21 downwards it's 4-3-3. It's um, it's, um, it's about full backs that, that like to get forward and support. It's about having a holding midfield player that will protect the two centre backs, that has a good range of, of, of passing ability. It's about two midfield players in front of him that, that have that energy and drive and, and technical ability to, to play through lines. It's about having two wide players that, that have um, they have the skills and the talent to be able to play as wide players but also come off the line and, and play more inside and join up with the, with the central striker. So uh, uh, there's a number of aspects of, of, of that methodology that we're very clear as a, as a club now what, what we're doing and, and, and we work hard with all the coaches and we show them and we demonstrate and, and we work with them and we show them examples of that from our first team games in terms of how we want how we want players to play when they're on the pitch. You know, so do we show them inside? Do we show them outside? Do we, you know, what areas do we want to play? What areas do we, do we not want to play? How do we transition from defensive third to midfield third? All of those things are, are constantly debated amongst the coaches. Does that affect how you, you look at players that the club might be interested in? Yeah, we, we, we have kind of five or six kind of characteristics that we're looking for in each position. And um, I mean, in an ideal world, you'd get somebody that ticks all those boxes. Um, particularly the young players, you may get three or four out of six, but maybe you think you can improve the, the, the kind of weaker elements and, and, and make them better players. Um, so, yeah, we, 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 again, we're very clear in terms of uh, giving that clarity to our scout and recruitment team um, that are based all around the world now. And, um, I think that they're all aware of the characteristics and the profile that we want for, for players for Manchester City. But we think we've got a template now that we, that we can all work to and we're seeing that. I think anybody who goes and watches, you know, whether it's our 10s, 11s, 12s, 13s, 14s, um, or whether they go and watch the under 18s play or even they watch the under 21s, Patrick's group, I think they will see a very a kind of clear, defined way now of, of playing. and. Uh, and that's really important to us, uh, but but that will always evolve. I mean, you know, it never never stays the same. You're always trying to find different ways of of, of kind of um, of developing players, and and also you know 
beating the opposition and uh, I think that uh, the more that we can give the education we can give those players the better. Well that's all for today but before we go just a reminder that our under 18s are in action tomorrow morning in a crucial league fixture against Everton. It's second versus third at Platte Lane tomorrow and kick-off is at 11am. See you next week.